What's up? This is Dilio. And uh, in this video, I wanted to do something different. Uh, as you see from the title, um, it talks about who are you before? Who are you before the failure? Who, what kind of person were you before, you know, certain letdowns happened in your life over the years? Like, just look back on that. You know, we're wrapping up December, wrapping up 2021, about to go into 2022. So I wrote... I wrote and thought about some things. This is something that was on my mind for the last couple of days. And I wanted to, um, you know, share my thoughts on it. So, you know, so I add these questions to myself and ask them to you. Uh, who are you before certain things didn't work out? Who are you before family did or say something that they never did before and it affected you in a negative way? Uh, who are you... When you first got out your pen in the pad for the first time, the first time you learned or wanted to write your own poems or your own songs, or your own story, who was that? Um, who, who, who was you when, you when you first got your own thing to make music with, your own first keyboard or your, your laptop, you know, and, and, you know, you went from best when everyone else is to finally having your own platform to create with. Who, who was that person? Um, who are you um, when you had hopes for your dreams and things and you know things happen to you that make you question it you know and, and think that it ain't gonna happen like who was you before that uh, who are you when you wanted to lose weight so bad that you finally did so and you were finally doing the steps that it took to, to do it who is that person where is they at I know where that person was at I got videos of that who were you as a creative person, just an individual in general, uh, before comments and views were a source of uh, validation? Like, who, who were you before that, right? Uh, and for my producers, who may have been doing this for a while, who were you before when all you had was like a keyboard and a tape recorder? You didn't have a DAW. You didn't have, I didn't have a multi-track. We didn't. Who are you before that? And and that was enough. You you made your tape. You put your tape in your Walkman. And and you go. Um, who are you before people in the church that you work at or go to let you down? Treated you in a certain way that you never thought people in the church would treat you. Um, who made you look at God like for real because you've never been exposed to that before? Who who are you before that? Were you like really passionate about being there and being in church and being in service were you really passionate about that um you know who were you before you knew bad things could happen to you who were you before when you wanted to be this producer or artist singer songwriter creative person entrepreneur um and you thought this you know before all this stuff and you had like this vision like yeah i'm gonna do this like this who was you before that? What was your belief system like at the time? You know, and, you know, who were you before you knew bad things could happen ahead of time that made you not quite dive into things the way you used to? Certain things that could lead to a breakthrough and you're like, ah, I did that about 20 times with this platform or ah, I'm not going to really head that direction anymore. You know, who were you uh, before you became such a per so much a perfectionist that nothing you seem that nothing you make seems to be any good? Like, was there a time where you know you could create something and it'd be enough, and, and you're like, hey, this is dope, and this is enough, and I like this, therefore it's enough, instead of oh no, nah. and you're and you're comparing it to other producers or other creatives, other people who are in the thing that you're into. Who were you? Who were you before that? Think about like see that person. Um, who were you when you were just making music for yourself and it was enough? And you had no concern about analytics, promotions, or streams. Back to the tape cassette or the CDR when you burned your CDs and you shared your tapes with friends and they listened to it and they liked it and how special that meant to you. Who were you before then? 
by who you were at that time. Um, you know, who are you when your self-esteem was, a, who are you before your self-esteem was attacked through narcissistic abuse? The, you know, the type of things where people don't really say certain things, but they don't say others, but it still affects you in a certain way. You can't really talk about it. Or, or, or people were happening to you and you didn't know they were happening to you the way that they were. And you thought that wrong and broken was normal. Like, was there a time where you were that person before that? Or were you a, was there a time where you were a, a person before you realized those things or, or before that happened to you? You know, who were you before a certain individual past that you sort of thought that you could take on, like, everything? Like, that person was, like, un, the unshakable element in your life. And so you had a certain confidence in yourself because you always knew this person was this, you know? You know, think about, you know, think about, and I'm trying to pull this up, you know, think about this, think about that person before all this stuff and, and how little they had was more than enough for what they did. You know, they may have a certain group of friends that may have let them down, but they had, you know, and, and I know that life goes on, people, go apart but that doesn't mean you can't make new friends and have a new circle and I understand as an adult it's harder to find that circle in person these days well at least it has been for me but uh, you know that person back then you know was was full of bravery full of charm hope and uh, you know you may not have dream achieved a dream that that person hoped for but you haven't let that person down because you haven't quit you may struggle for a while you may deal with some things that um sort of slow things down to make you question like dang what did i do in my life did i, did I ruin it because i haven't achieved this and i got all this other stuff going on but what i also learned is that there are processes to all of this there there's a process and i don't like processes because processes don't show you all the steps Processes don't reveal to you everything you want to know. Processes don't let you know ahead of time that you're going to come out on top. And, and processes, um, you know, they're, they're no fun sometimes, right? So, you know, I think to honor that person before, you know, that person that you were before is to definitely take the lessons you learned over life through that but then also to show that person hey that person's still alive and that still pers that person can still pursue things and make things happen and I think that that's very important to show that person you that you can still do this or you can still work and figure this stuff out right you can still do that I think you can I believe you can I believe I can and, uh, you know, it's a good thing to, to search for new things to make that dream happen. And also believe in that possibility of it happening the same way that person did before all this crap happened to them. Or the, the, the no callbacks or leads going dark. And your own mistakes, too. Or those times in your life where you were dealing with so much, you couldn't really respond back to other, the other person the way you would like to. And you might have missed out on something because of that. Or when people happen to you and do things you never thought they would. But uh, all that stuff grows you and makes you a better person. I, um, you know, there's a time where I had to drive like a really bad car. I was a 96 Buick Roadmaster, right? And, you know, I was hot because, you know, there are certain people in my vicinity who are provided with much more nicer things than me. And I really struggled uh, to keep that thing running. But I now know how to work on my own cars because of that situation. I was able to turn that negative into a positive. I was able to turn unfair into an advantage. So embrace that process. Embrace what you're learning. Don't be afraid to make changes. Hold yourself accountable. And... and only bring energy to those who 
who love you back uh who you can reach out to and have a conversation with take time to understand what narcissistic abuse is understand that because it could be happening to you you don't know it all right well i'm done this is my video and uh i'm gonna make this i'm gonna get up out of here but y'all enjoy y'all day this should drop around noon i'll see y'all with some more videos so i just wanted to do this video and share that all right i'm out peace